pleasant morning, everyone. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. The Venerable Patrick Cunningham, Archdeacon, thank you so much for your sermon, especially for our healthcare workers. Mr. Errol Green, ODJP Regional Director of Sarah, Beverly Williams, who is representing um, the Costas of Kingston, welcome. Mr. Mark Martin, who is a parish manager of Kingston and St. Andrew. Uh, Mr. Dwayne Francis, CEO Ligony Regional Hospitals. Mr. Anthony Wood, Buster, CEO now of Bustamante Hospital for Children. Dr. Suzanne Strawn Johnson, Senior Medical Officer of Health. Medical Officers of Health, Directors of Nursing Services, Healthcare Workers, Distinguished Guests. I heard we have persons online, uh, members of the media. Pleasant morning to all of you here. And once again, it gives me great, great pleasure uh, to be here worship, worshiping with our healthcare workers this morning in this Thanksgiving service that forms part of the month of a national focus to recognize Jamaica's health heroes, and you are heroes. So let me begin by extending on behalf of the Ministry of Health um, and the government of Jamaica, sincere appreciation for all the healthcare workers for your immense labor of love in supporting and safeguarding the health and the well being of the nation. For the first time in our nation's history, July is being commemorated Healthcare Workers Appreciation Month in honor of Jamaica's healthcare workers. The brave men and women who are shining examples of courage and fidelity in the face of adversity. Your greatness, asset in the public health, we want to tell you that we value your significant contributions. In all categories of health professionals, the administrators, the midwives, the drivers, the clerks, the nurses, health education and communication staff, medical technologists, the doctors, and all the healthcare practitioners supported by able leadership terms who work tirelessly in order to respond to the daily health and well-being of this nation. There is no greater time in recent history that has been demonstrated than the past two years and still going of this pandemic. And so as a public health system experienced much strain due to the COVID-19 pandemic, healthcare workers at all levels, you all, all of you, remained resilient despite the odds. This, of course, on the heels of the previous successive outbreaks of dengue and the flu. Throughout the period of vulnerability, the health team across Kingston and St. Andrew Health Services has gone above and beyond personal distresses to support and safeguard the health and well-being of all Jamaicans. Your work is in reassuring the nation, yes you did, reassuring the nation has not gone unnoticed. With skill and passion you shouldered the burden of the elderly the pregnant women, the mothers of all ages, and Jamaicans from all walks of life. The government of Jamaica since is in sincere appreciation to all the healthcare workers for your immense, immense labor and love in supporting and safeguarding the health and well-being of this nation. The steadfast of our healthcare workers helped a vulnerable nation rise above its uncertainties and now we are focusing on building back much better. And so our healthcare workers have made a valuable contribution to the nation. And today and throughout the month of July, we amplify your gratitude to all of you. And so again, I wish to extend thanks to the healthcare workers for your role in the delivery of quality care services 
to this nation that we live in, Jamaica land we love. I want to extend once again, and I'm in my pink today, I didn't forget the last time I did, Happy Healthcare Workers Appreciation Month, and we will continue to say God bless you. Thank you, one and all.